calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. And here comes a return. For, and all oh, deep in his own territory, he coughs up the football. It's going the other way. So they've got the football, and they'll start right on the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. And that has to be so frustrating because you know that they had something set up there for this first drive of the second half. It wasn't the fumble. Sometimes no matter what you go over at halftime, no matter what you say, errors will result. And that's exactly what happened here. They were trying to change things from what happened in the first half. Instead, <laughs> they continue to make mistakes. I'll tell you, far from ideal conditions to play in, but neither offense has had much trouble. Plenty of points to go around. First and 10 on first down. It's Warren. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Taking it in from the 20. And his guys find a way to stretch that lead. And that's a drive that makes everyone happy on that bench because they accomplish exactly what they set out to do. Take care of the football, eat up a little clock, end up in the end zone. Now they've got a cushion for the rest of the game. So they didn't just help themselves offensively. They helped their defense out as well. Now the extra point try forthcoming. And the lead now to three touchdowns and 21 points. A nice tidy little drive there, getting the ball in excellent field position and only one play to score. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two-minute. Who knows? Let's see what they decide to do. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Meanwhile, the throw here is complete. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him. Why not go back to it? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. And he's brought down, but not before a really nice stiff arm to create a little space. A gain of six there on first. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. On second down, here's Henry. And that'll hurt the average a bit, as this time they're able to get him behind the line. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. Looking to throw. It fights him off. Looking left side, and it's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football. Right now, I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. They're going to look to throw. That's complete to his running back, Carter. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now back to throw. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Second time in this game, Charles, the ball has squirted out from his hands. Luckily, his teammate was there to pounce on it. You're right. Got the lucky bounce, able to retain possession. You know, often, we often talk about the combine and why do we measure quarterbacks' hands. Is that really a big deal? 
is from situations like this. Do you have the hands big enough and strong enough to hold on to the football while being jostled? Out of the gun now on third down. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Six yards there on the keeper and second down. Again to Henry. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a third and three. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. I'm not sure, Brandon, we've seen a sloppier played game this year for a team on offense. Turn it over four times and expect to win? No chance whatsoever. And look, I have no idea what the ratio is about turning over four times and how that correlates to winning or losing, but I'll guarantee you, it's not very good. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Looking to throw, Sanders. Yeah, it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And that's why defensive coaches preach swarming to the football. It's usually going to take more than one guy to get that big man down. And it did right there. Multiple broken tackles, but they eventually get him down. They'll manage to break a tackle and get this forward for a couple. It'll be second down. Sanders now looking to throw on second down. Flush to his right. Now he's going to throw deep right side. And that's caught inside the 30. And they finally do get him, but not before he reaches the 27. A big play there for Carolina. In our pregame meeting, all they talked about was keeping him hemmed in and wanting him to make his throws from the pocket because they knew he was pretty dangerous if he got outside. And he just showed it right there. Pretty good arm, too. They'll run on first down. Warren gets a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to. And for a third time tonight, he's intercepted. Picked off down near the five. And he'll take it all the way up near the 30-yard line. Well, I get what he was trying to do. He was moving to his right and trying to shift the coverage. But instead, he shifted the coverage also to the right and threw it right into it for an interception. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. He's got a man. It's his tight end. That's complete. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. They'll set up to throw. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there is going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. Defensively here, you've got the cushion, but back-to-back -back pretty big pass plays there. Bend but don't break, but are they bending too much? I think that they are. To me, it'd be like playing basketball, and you put up a token press. Make sure you get up there and make them eat up some time. Make it a little bit of resistance so they can't just run it right down your throat. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. 
Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. two-score game here in the fourth. So a little bit of a letdown there defensively. I mean, look, you're still two scores to the good, CD, but things may be a little more uncomfortable than they had hoped. Yeah, if you kept them out of the end zone there, this game's over. You've locked the door on them. Instead, it's still open a little bit, and they've got a puncher's chance. point attempt here still to come. And the lead will be cut down to 14. That time a six play drive. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Taking it about the one. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. Carolina getting set to take the field. Well, don't look now, but they've got a little bit of a battle on their hands again. Back to a two-score game, the interception that led to a touchdown. You have to think they're a little more careful here if they, can, if they do indeed try to throw the football. Yeah, and I was a little surprised by the last throw. You know, that type of throw in this type of a game, I'm going to be very careful about it. Maybe the only throw you make is maybe a toss to your half halfback or something <laughs> like that. Otherwise, take care of the thing and finish this bad boy off. Now a nice play defensively on first down as this is knocked away and incomplete. Trying to get their tight end involved finally. That's the first time that they've looked his way. He's kind of been a forgotten man in this offensive scheme. Yeah, it didn't look his way at all in the first half. And I'll bet you the offense coordinator made a note at the half and said, let's get him involved because he could be a big-time playmaker for us. They'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. from the gun. Sanders. And this is caught. A spectacular one-handed grab there. Partner, I like that they're staying aggressive on offense because to me, this drive is what is known as a put-away drive. You score here, that might put this one to bed. I like the fact that they're playing with confidence and not playing with fear. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. And he's going to get this one down to the 30. Only a yard on the keeper, and it'll be second down. Back to throw. Sanders, he's going to loft one deep left side here toward the back corner of the end zone, but he could not get the feet down. This will wind up incomplete. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they were unsuccessful. And he'll be stopped at the 27-yard line well short of the first down marker. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. Oh, that was never on target. It's no good. Wide to the right, and this score will stay right where it is. Now, 
this one now not over yet, Charles. You've got a sliver of hope on that other sideline. You certainly do, because that would have made it a three-score game, and that probably would have been curtains at that point. But now if they can get down the field quickly and somehow get the ball back one more time, we may have a different ball game. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A good start there on this fourth quarter drive. They need more of what we just saw. Down a couple of scores. There's still time. All right. It's not like you know they're totally out of it, but they have to score quickly, and they're going to need some big time plays, chunk plays, explosive plays. They need yardage on each snap. It certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had the and now the ball's out. Fumble near midfield. And this is picked up by the defense. And his guys are going to get the football at their own 47-yard line. Well, that drive wasn't a case of wanting to put points on the board. It was needing they to, added, having had to, to, and they didn't get it done. Yeah, didn't get it done. And now you look at the situation and the point differential, two scores, pretty much game set, man. How about the takeaway, though, huh? How about those defensive guys? After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Warren. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. And now we're going to get a timeout defensively. So another stop, 150 left in the football game. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. Fair catch called for and made at the 16 or maybe the 17 yard line. Just 34 yards on the punt there, no return. And that will come the offense as they take over. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Looking sideline incomplete. And let's face it, this defense has had its share of struggles all game long, and they know that they can put it all behind them if they defend well here in the two-minute drill. Excellent coverage right there to force the incompletion. And now a hook up downfield on second down. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A big play that time through the air. 36 yards. First down now, but that clock rolling. This will go to Henry out wide. And he maybe makes it back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. Again, he'll drop to throw. No gain on the play. And that'll make it second and 10. And despite the good footwork, he'll be hit and dropped shy of the 45. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. He's going to air one out. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. No, we're not cheering. No, we're not rooting. But I am excited about this, and I know you are, too. We got a ball game again after that big-time strike. Big-time strike, and you are right. Don't go anywhere yet. This thing's not done. Point after here, coming up. And that'll cut the lead down now to a touchdown. The drive summary that time, five plays. So with under 30 seconds to play, this is the game right here. And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a camera on this one. They had to go for it with no timeouts remaining, though, now. This one's as good as over. They gave it an effort. They tried their best, did everything they could to try and get the ball on the onside kick. You're exactly right. They had to try it. It was their only option. And now this game is done. Just take it, kneel, and call it a day. Victory very much in sight now as they'll take a knee. Well, taking that knee, maybe just a sigh of relief. They withstood a big fourth quarter comeback. Able to hold on, though. Certainly looked like they had things going their way, didn't it? And in the fourth quarter, they had to just hold on. As you said, furious assault on them. But they were able to get it done, take a knee, and head to the locker room with a win. 
Down to a knee one more time, and that should just about do it. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on 